Hello there! My name is Paige, and I would like to introduce to you the characters of the Google Kid curriculum. There is a document available on Fresh Test that you can use that explains all of the relationships in detail, but I know that if you are a new teacher or you're going through these lessons in a non-linear way, because we just see the characters in the classes as the students book us, so we might be doing all of these lessons and we're like, who are these people? How do I know them? What are they doing? What's going on? I'm going to introduce you to the entire Gogo Kid cast of characters. I'm using this document, and in collaboration with the curriculum team, I'll be going through each of the families and their relationships. I will periodically talk about each part of this document, but it is available in totality on Freshdesk, and it will be linked below for you as well. Now let's get into it. So first of all, we have... We have Alex! <laughs> this is Alex. He is one of the main characters. He is six years old. He is American, and he was born in... Bronx. Yes, he's from the Bronx. You will see him primarily in level one and some of those, those lessons. He doesn't show up in the K-levels very much. So, Alex. Hello! We also have Alex's sister! Little sister! This is Hannah, Alex's sister. She is adopted and she is American. She also shows up primarily in the K-level classes. We also have Andrew. This is Andrew. Andrew is the older brother of Alex and of Hannah, older brother. He is 12 years old, and I don't know much about him. He doesn't show up in all of the classes too, too much, but this is Andrew. He's really cool. We also have Alex's dad. Alex's dad is 36 years old and a policeman, which is pretty cool. We have Alex's mom. She is 35 years old and a housewife. Oops. <laughs> Alex's mom. We also have Alex's grandma! She is 64 years old and a baker. I bet she makes some really good stuff. <laughs> we also have Alex's grandpa. He is 66 years old and a craftsman, but he can make some cool stuff. And this is Jelly. Jelly is actually the grandparent's dog, so he's their dog. And he is 7 years old. So Jelly is their dog, but he hangs out a lot with Alex and company, so you'll see him with Alex and Hannah, but he is their dog, which is interesting. This is the entire family, aren't they fun? <laughs> These characters, by the way, are all available on Freshdesk. Don't buy them off Teachers Free Teachers, okay? <laughs> don't do that. You don't need to. They are available for free for all teachers. Now, next up we have... This is Amy. She is five years old and Canadian. She's also primarily in the level one lessons. We also have Jack. Jack is Amy's little brother. He is three years old and he's also Canadian because they're both from Canada. He is primarily in the K-level. He hangs out a lot with his buddy Hannah in the K-level classes. Woo! K-level! Yes! K-level! <laughs> Alright, we also have their mom! This is Amy's mom and Jack's mom. She is 30 years old and a lawyer. This is their dad. He is 35 years old and a scientist. This is their grandma. She is 61 years old and a singer. And this is their grandpa. He is 62 years old and a fireman. He looks pretty fierce. I kind of like it. This is their entire family. <laughs> Amy and Jack you'll see primarily and you'll see the family members as well. This is Sally. <laughs> Sally is four years old and she is from China. She is an only child, so no siblings. And this is her mother. She is 30 years old and a doctor. This is her father. He is 32 years old and a bank executive. This is her grandma. She is 57 years old and a retired professor. This is her grandpa. He is 60 and a retired professor. And this, this is Peanut. Peanut. He is three years old and he is Sally's cat. <laughs> so this is the entire family. <laughs> you will primarily see Sally and Peanut in the lessons. She primarily shows up in levels one and up, but this is the family, everybody. So the main guys you will see, in level one and up, you will see Sally, you will see Amy, and you will see Alex. You will also see Jack and Hannah, but they are the superstars of K-Level, and they show up later, and they join for levels one and up. 
all the friends. And then these guys, Peanut and Jelly, they hang out quite a bit. Now, we do have some characters that are not tied to a family unit per se, but still show up, right? First of all, we have Dragon. This is Dragon. Dragon has a lot of colorful dragon friends. We also have Paul. Paul, Paul is my favorite, and he's just awesome. He's got a cool pirate hat. He's just, he's just Paul. Paul and Dragon are just, they're just Paul and Dragon. There's nothing else to say about that. <laughs> we also have Miss Green. Miss Green is the teacher. She is 25 years old. I actually dressed up as her for Halloween. I'll put in a clip. I can't do that now because my hair is like a purpley, purple color now. <laughs> but um, I did it for Halloween. I can't hit the high notes the way she can in the video though. And finally, last but certainly not least, we have Uni! Yes! This is Uni in the early age. Um, in the early days, you primarily saw Uni, and he's kind of being swapped out a little bit with older Uni, because older Uni has this really cool star wand, and he floats around, he gives helpful hints in some of the slides for the students. So this is Uni. You might see him still referred to in some places as Egg. They are both Uni. Yes. I like him, though. He's just so mysterious to me. Just gotta love it. So these are all of the animal friends. We have Uni. Dragon, Paul, we also have Peanuts and Jelly, all of the animal friends. The magical ones and then the, the regular ones, but they're still pretty magical. I like them. Alright, that is it. Those are all of the characters of the Gavokri curriculum. I hope that you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please like, comment. Please comment down below who is your favorite Gavokri character and why. Um, which characters have you seen? Um, if you, do you have any other additional information to add about these characters that you learned in the lessons? Let us know in the comments below. Now, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Um, I know that we can sometimes see the lessons in a non-linear way, so it can be helpful to get some background information on some of the characters prior to jumping right in and teaching the lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Paige. Thank you so much, and happy teaching. Bye!